next video we're going to talk more about what it really takes to succeed in, in any of these apprenticeship courses. They're a little bit different than, we, than they used to be, so some of you who have taken them before uh, will need to really kind of learn what's expected and what to expect through it. Those of you who taken uh, Line Worker 1A, it's the first time in, it's all new to you anyway, but this will help everybody out. One of the biggest things to expect um, from this course is that you're, you're going to get a lot of information in the online class and you're going to be able to put that together with your your lab sessions with your lab instructor as well and all that's going to work together with the work you're doing on the job as well um, there's going to be quizzes there'll be a lot of video content you'll have the student workbook you will have a lot of tools um, provided that you'll be able to use to understand the material and to, to really kind of understand what's going on and and make those connections between what you read in a book, what you see in a video, and what you see when you actually put your hands on something uh, when you're on the job site. Now, on the other side of that, it's what's expected of each student. We expect you to go through this material. Not everybody's going to understand everything the first time they read something. Read things, make sure you understand it. If you don't understand it still after going through the workbook, after seeing the video, talk to other other people in your class, talk to your instructors, there's a lot of people out there. Talk to talk to the guys at work. There's a lot of people there that have been through this same material. They know this stuff, and they they can help explain it to you as well. Okay, we've talked about what to expect out of the course, what's expected of, of you as a student. Now we're going to talk about grades a little bit. Anytime you want to know your grade, you can always go to the left hand side here and go to the grades and it'll show you your individual grades on all the different quizzes um, that you've taken online. Now when you go through the the Canvas course online the only thing that is graded are the quizzes themselves there's nothing else that's graded so it'll give you a total here but that's only part of what your overall grades gonna be. Each course is a little bit different so you always do have to refer to your syllabus and remember you can get to that right over here on the left hand side by clicking on that syllabus link um, it's going to include not only the, the grades you get from your quizzes, but also uh, grades from your lab instructor as well. And part of that's going to be your attendance. But again, every course it could be a little bit different, so you always have to refer back to the syllabus to find out exactly how your grade is going to be calculated. Now that we understand how to use Canvas, how do we start participating in this course? What, what do we have to do next? Well, anytime you log into Canvas, you're always going to be brought to this home page for, for your particular course. Now, you can click on this banner if, if it's the very first time, and this takes you to the first page and the first module. Now, we've already been through some of that stuff, so we can go right, go, go right over to the Modules tab now. Now, in any one of these modules, remember, you always have to do all these pages in sequence. Um, you can't just skip into one in the middle. You have to take the introduction first. You have to read that. You have to go on to the next one and so on and so forth. We're going to skip ahead to uh, Module 3. And of course, you, you come right in. You go to the introduction page first. You go in. You, you read the uh, module objectives. Understand what's going on. Hit the next button. Now we get to the main content page. This is where things get a little more detailed. You've got a couple things here. You've got the topics that are going to be covered, which is really just restating what we just read in the introduction page. You have a link to the student handbook, and you've got the video content for, for this module. Now, a good way to do this is to go ahead, open up this PDF. You can either print it out, or you can just keep it open. Either way, I prefer just to open it, and I can minimize it or maximize it whenever I need to and I'm going to bring this back down to 100 percent so here's my student manual it's just a PDF I can look at it this section right here this is really uh, designed for use in a regular classroom where you would have an instructor sit in front of the room explaining these things you would watch the video in class um, so you don't really necessarily want to follow these directions but we're gonna scroll down here a little bit farther and we're going to start with this table of contents right here. Now you can see how this student workbook is, is broken up into segments. The videos are going to be broken up the same way. 
So a really good way to go through this, and, and everybody learns things a little bit different. Everybody's going to have to figure out their, the best way for them. But a really great way to do this is, is to go in, and we're going to start with Canvas. Read these topics you're going to cover. Start the video. Each one of these videos is broken up into segments, and, and so is the student workbook, so you can follow along pretty closely. At the beginning of each segment, they'll give you a screen like this, tells you what segment it is, what the title of that, that segment is, and you can go to the student workbook and find that same segment. So it's a good idea to watch one segment of the video, read that same segment in the workbook, do the questions at the end. So let's say I'm just starting out, I just watched segment one, and I'm going to watch both of these, I'm not just going to watch one of them. So once I've done that, I can scroll down, and now I'm at segment one. So I can go ahead and read through all this, and at the end, there's going to be some quiz questions. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I can answer all of those, and when I'm done with that, then I'm going to move on to the next segment. So you watch a segment of video, do a segment in the workbook, do the questions, and then go watch the next segment. Now, some people prefer to watch the whole video, then go through and do all the segments in the book. That's fine if that works for you, but I think for a lot of people it's, it's really good to watch just one piece of the video, come here, read the workbook, do the questions, and then move on. That way you're not watching an hour's worth of material and then having to start over at the very beginning and, and, you, and it's harder to remember what happened at the beginning of that video. Now the last stop before the quiz is going to be the review page. So let's take a look at that real quick. We're in our module view right here. I'm just going to go to that review page. And here we are. We know we're in the right review page because we've got the right title up here. Again, we're going to remind ourselves what we should have learned in, in this module so far. And then we're going to have the answers to the workbook exercises. Now when you look at these, this is question 1-1. One is going to be the segment it is, and one's going to be the, the number of the question. So to go look at that in the workbook, I'm in segment one. This is question number one. So this is one dash one here. So a power grid is a network of major electrical conductors that link individual utility companies together. Well, I'm going to say that's true. Well, if I go to my review, I see, well, yeah, I was right. That is true. So you can go through here, check all your answers, make sure you got them right, make sure you understand the questions and not just that you can write down this correct answer in, in your workbook if you've printed it out or in your notebook or in your notes or, or wherever you've decided to write things down. It's important you understand these so because the next step we're going to do is taking the quiz and a lot of these questions are, are going to be drawn from the workbook, from the video, same place a lot of these questions are drawn from. Um, that we're, we've just answered out of the workbook as well. So once you're satisfied, you understand everything in that workbook and, and you feel like you're ready to take the quiz, well, that's our next step. We can scroll down and we can hit that next button. Now that you've gone through this module, it's time to take the quiz. Before we take the quiz, though, there's a couple things we want to talk about. Each quiz is going to have a due date. Now this is going to be a pretty hard due date. Unless there's something really serious going on and you've already talked with your instructor, you're not going to be able to submit one of these quizzes or even take these quizzes after these due dates. Each quiz is going to be worth 20 points. Each quiz is going to have 20 questions. That's going to be pretty standard uh, with all our apprenticeship classes. And you're going to have this availability date. Now along with the module, the module is going to be unlocked or available for you to start looking at and going through the material at a certain date. The modules, however, will stay unlocked. You'll always be able to get back into them, but these quizzes will, will lock back up at the due date. You can take as much time as you want to take these quizzes, and you can take them as many times as you want, and we're only going to keep the, the highest score that you get. So it's not going to be an average of all the, all the scores you get from taking the quiz. It'll just be the very highest. So now that we've got those things out of the way, let's go ahead and, and hit our Take the Quiz button. Now again, we've talked about these a little bit before. This is just a typical multiple choice question. There's just going to be one answer because there's just a round circle. If this was a, a question that had multiple choices but had multiple answers, these would be boxes instead of circles. 
And again, you've got some of these with drop downs where you've got to pick one of the selection in the drop down box. And again, multiple choice. Sometimes you have to order these drop down boxes. You've got to put these, these answers in order that they're supposed to be. And again, sometimes you have the true false questions, which we're all pretty familiar with. If you ever have any questions about any of these quizzes, feel free to go ahead and ask one of your instructors or send an email to instructor. Um, these quizzes should be your own work. These aren't uh, to do in groups. You should be doing it by yourself. You can, however, use all the materials you have in this course to answer these questions, but make sure you answer them yourself. Now we're finally almost through our last module. We've talked about how to navigate through Canvas. Um, we've talked about all the different navigation on the left-hand side. We've also talked about the, the navigation on, on the bottom of almost every page. To get to all the different things we need, remember you always have this FAQ page to frequently ask questions. If you have questions about how to do something or how to get to a part of Canvas, um, we'll have all those videos and, and all that stuff at the FAQ page. If you want to get to the page where all the, the syllabus and all the, the student workbooks are at, you can go to the course documents. And you have the modules and the announcements list. You'll get really familiar with the module list. Um, the announcements, it's still good every time you log into Canvas to make sure you check your announcements, to make sure there's not something going on, make sure a due date hasn't changed or a lab date hasn't changed as well. Um, we've talked about how to go through all these different videos. We've talked about what to expect what we expect out of every student. We've talked about uh, how to put the videos together with the student workbooks, how to check your answers from the student workbook, and, and how to just really take notes, make sure when you're watching videos, make sure when you're reading the book, answering the questions, that you're really paying attention to what you're doing and not just doing something to have it done. Um, we've talked about the quizzes. Remember those due dates aren't going to be very flexible at all and uh, those quizzes will get locked if you go beyond your due date. And remember, if you have any questions at all, there's always a, 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 a team of instructors ready to answer questions for you. As long as it's not a specific quiz question, feel free to ask the, the other people in your class or the people you work with. Um, everybody understands things differently and at a different rate. Some people understand things diff better than other people do. And it's really good sometimes to hear somebody else explain it that's kind of in the same place you are rather than just getting it from a, a video from somebody who already knows all the content. Um, sometimes it's good to, to find that person that just understood it themselves so they can then translate it to you the way they understand it. And sometimes it just clicks. So for now, go ahead, maybe review through your notes that you've hopefully taken so far and uh, maybe go through some of these videos. You can find them on the FAQ page and go ahead and take your quiz for your very first module.